Okay, so now we're going to talk about upgrades. One of the biggest lessons we probably learned with Jenkins X2 was how that there's so much changing. Um, certainly in the Kubernetes ecosystem, there's lots of new projects, lots of new versions, lots of releasing, especially with exposure around CI, uh, well, with automation and continuous delivery, there's a lot of, lot of change to be able to consume. Now, from Jenkins X point of view, we can consume this change. We have automation ourselves and we were releasing quite a few times per day. And that's quite hard. The feedback we had, that's quite hard to keep up with, to be able to plan that amount of change. So what we've learned from this was we need to be able to put in the guardrails in place to ensure upgrades happen in a consistent way, but also more reliably and be clear of what we're upgrading to. So that's one of the lessons we've really focused on around version three. Now let's go back to the docs and we're going to go through a live upgrade of the cluster that we've been working with during this the walkthrough series. So down to the admin guide and we can have a look at upgrades. Upgrades. Now there's a couple of different areas. We want to be able to upgrade the CLI itself. So JX get build logs, that JX CLI uh, for all the client size activities. We need to be able to upgrade this. We also want to be able to upgrade uh, the server side uh, Helm charts that are actually installed inside our Kubernetes cluster. That might include your um, Tecton, for example, or Lighthouse, or any other, any other applications that you have installed on using your GitOps Git repository. Um, we've also got the infrastructure as well. So receiving updates from when, if there's new cloud resources or new features that need um, a new storage bucket or new a GCP service account or new Azure bucket, for example. So we want to be able to consume those updates as well. And we're going to talk a little bit about LTS, but we'll leave that towards the end. Okay, let's start off with the CLI. CLI is nice and easy. Um, we have a microservices style approach to JX3. We have an umbrella CLI, which is top level called JX, um, which we can easily upgrade doing this. So let's do um, JX version, we're currently on version 3.155. Um, so now we can actually do JX upgrade CLI. And what this will do is this will check what's the latest version that's been validated that we have released and it'll upgrade our client CLI. Okay, so now we can see we now have a new version of uh, JX 3.1.161. Okay, that's great. Um, mentioned that we have a number of plugins, so you can add, extend adding in your own plugins, but we have a number of plugins that come out of the box. We mentioned before we have Promote, Pipeline, Health, um, there, is, there, is, there are quite a lot, Admin. So all of these are independent microservice style Git repositories themselves and CLI binaries. Now we, we don't have to do this, but we could just upgrade these, all of these plugins directly from here. Um, this, these versions are actually tied to a known tested version of the JX CLI. So we know these are um, these work well together. Okay, great. So next, so we can see here we brought in a brand new JX secret CLI and a brand new uh, upgraded JX pipeline CLI. Okay. Um, Next, this one here is what we're going to talk about a little bit later on. Um, if we wanted to, if we had a different installation, different versions, multiple clusters, maybe you want to tie your JX to the cluster that you're working with. Um, this is uh, where you can actually um, you tie your, upgrade your local CLI to the same version matching a specific installation. Uh, but we won't worry about that now. Okay, cluster. So one of the things that we do with Jenkins X, um, we may have heard us talk about version streams. Version streams is a way that we can actually, um, um, where, we can, where Jenkins X uses it as a quality gate. So we will gen build new CLI binaries or Helm charts, Docker images, and then we want to be able to test all these together and only when we know we've run all of our BDD testing for different cloud providers, different Git providers, different features, once we've got that coverage, then we merge a change to something called a version stream, which is a quality gate, and then that is available for users to consume and upgrade those their own clusters. Um, so this is where we talk about clusters. Um, just talking a little bit about the LTS, which I mentioned briefly before, the default 
version stream that we use is something we release to many times a day. Um, so for people tracking the bleeding edge of Jenkins X, they want to be able to consume these changes and actively are contributing as well and providing feedback, then that's the best, best uh, version stream to track. For folks that will want to track a slower cadence number of releases, um, they can actually switch this over to use a, an LTS version stream. LTS is taken from a lot, a lot of uh, open source projects use an LTS uh, version. This is long-term support, so it will have a monthly cadence of changes. And all it means is that we will provide better, um, uh, aim to provide better uh, release notes um, and features may, newer features will probably be a bit more mature. We'll have had a bit more feedback for people that are, pro that are tracking the latest version stream. So if you're looking for a slow cadence, uh, then we recommend tracking the LTS version stream. But for now, and there's some instructions of how you do this, but for now we're using the latest version stream in this demo. Let's go back to our cluster. First of all, we are going to navigate to our local copy of our cluster Git repository. Here we go. And let's make sure we've got everything, we've got the latest changes and status, there we go. And now we can run JOps GitOps upgrade. What this is going to do is it goes, it is using a tool called Kept. Kept is a great tool that uses, it's a great way for synchronizing configuration files. Let's have a look. Um, recommend to, taking a look at this. And all, it, all Jenkins X is doing is deferring to Kept uh, kept as in KPT kept um, and then it allows us to be able to grab let's have a look um, command references and there's some really good documentation it allows us to get this configurations and we can actually synchronize out of the version stream that the Jenkins X uses the latest version stream into our local git repository so what does that look like I've mentioned about our version stream this is the Jenkins X version stream. In here contains all of the versions, say for our Helm charts. So we might look at um, Lighthouse, for example. Here we can see the version of Lighthouse that has been tested, that has been released for the latest version stream is 9.18. Okay, um, now that is the, if you're interested in looking what changes are coming through, then have a look there. When you've got this, Post your sentence before that's finished that JS upgrade. But when you have your own Git repository, your cluster Git repository, you have a copy of that version stream actually embedded in your own Git repository. And what JX GitOps upgrade is doing is using kept, and there's a kept file in here, it's using kept to go and synchronize any release changes that we have in our version stream and pulls them down locally and allows us to be able to commit them into our local Git repository. Uh, this is for our cluster. So Git status, oops. So we see we've had a number of changes that have been, that we're upgrading to. In fact, we can see that we are probably updating the version of Lighthouse. So let's do a Git diff of that file there. Here we go. So currently, when we created our, this cluster, we, the latest version for Lighthouse was that was installed, that was released, was 9.15. Now, since then, there's been three more releases. So during the JOPS GitOps upgrade, we'll upgrade to the latest version stream. Everything's been tested using our BDD testing. And we can simply git commit minus a minus m sure up, upgrade cluster. We're going to git push. Now you could make a pull request instead and validate this as well. We're just going to push directly into the main line. Now once that's running, let's go JX. And that's probably um, we could do something very quick. Um, kubectl get deployments. Let's go say lighthouse. Let's just have a look at what image. 
right, so yeah. So we're just, all we're doing is looking at the version of Lighthouse that was actually running. This is the image that we can see. Um, that was previously running. Now, because we've pushed those changes up after we've synced them from the version stream, we should be able to go JX admin blogs and track the, the Git operator. We can, we can see is now running because we pushed into the, into the main branch for our cluster Git repository. And that is now synchronized. That's doing the Kubernetes apply for the updated versions. Once this finishes, we should be able to go and have a look and we'll be able to see the new image being used for the Kubernetes deployment of Lighthouse. Okay, now whilst that's just finishing off the last steps, let's go back and have a look at our version of Lighthouse. And there we can see the upgrade has worked and we are now running version uh, 00918 of Lighthouse. Now just to check everything's all right, JX health status all main spaces. Okay. We're just waiting for the no receipt, no where puts received in by Lighthouse. That's because we've restarted the Lighthouse service. So uh, the, re the Lighthouse um, upgraded the Lighthouse pod. So it hasn't had any new uh, new web hooks being received. So as soon as we do a new CI build of anything or any web hooks get received, that check will pass. So that's good. That's how we showed how we do a an upgrade of the CLI, the cluster infrastructure. We don't need to do because there's nothing to upgrade to yet, but you would just do a Terraform get update, a plan and apply. Um, and similarly, if you want the slower cadence, then just switch to the version stream, the LTS version stream, and that will be released on a slower, on the monthly release cadence. Okay, that's it. Thanks very much.